to catch that can. Just put it here, Dad. But we need to tidy all this up. It's fine, Dad. So, as well as not having caller ID, you didn't have texting either, did you? Well, no. Oops. Sorry, Henry. Oh, that's OK. I feel sorry for you, really. What do you mean? Well, no tweeting, or warbling, or kibbling. How do you know about all these things, Henry? Oh, oh, I just do. So what do you reckon? Can I get a mobile phone today? Well, um... That doesn't sound like the number gnomes. Number gnomes, number gnomes. The really important question is, can I have a mobile phone? Just a little one. with him. Behold, the King of Blue! <gasps> Peter? Best boys are the man. Best boys are the man! The King of the Blue! Best boys are the man! They just want to see! Best boys are the man! Put him to the test! Best boys are the man! The best of the best! He the man! The King of the Blue! Where did you get this? Great Aunt Greta sent it to me. But it's for teenagers. Turn it off now. I can't. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Turn it off now, Peter. No. DJ B says yo to no. No go. I... I've never heard anything so ridiculous in my life. Yo, Dad, chill. No, I will not chill. You're supposed to be practising for the school board on Monday. And what's that you're wearing? It's a bling ring. Do you like it? A bling ring? Where did you get this stuff from anyway? Oh, from the DJB store. I ordered it on Mum's mobile phone. DJB showed me how to. You use Mum's mobile phone? Y you said I could. <laughs> right, that's it, Peter. No TV for a whole week. <laughs> it's so easy being me. I'm Why didn't you tell me, Worm? Tell you what, Henry? Tell me that there are only a few purple penny dragons in the whole world. One of them is locked away in a high security safe on the top of the highest mountain in the world. And no one knows where the other ones are. I tried to tell you, Henry, but you wouldn't listen to me. Well, I'm certainly not going to listen to you now, Worm. I hope we haven't put you off stamp collecting, Henry. Uh, uh, no, sir. What you have to remember, Henry, is that you never know when the other purple penny dragons will turn up. Who knows? Maybe your postman might be delivering one to you right now. And he has a stamp collecting dream. Really, Peter? Tell me more. His dream is to find a purple penny dragon. Ha! A purple penny dragon? Oh, are you a stamp collector too? No, but I bet that purple penny dragon's worth a lot of money. Well, uh, not much. A few pounds, if that. So why do you want it then? Oh, I just, uh, I like the colour purple. Well, fancy that. And 
I just happen to have one. Really? Of course. My kind uncle gave it to me only last week. Prove it. All right, then. Meet you back here in five. Mm, that's it. Go and get your money box, Peter. Uh, what? Why? Because if she's really got a purple penny dragon, we're going to have to buy it off her. But Henry... Go and get your money box now! It's so easy being me. I'm You're in charge of accounts, Graham catering, Al stunts, but... I don't know. Correct. William? <laughs> Forget it. You're fired. <laughs> and everyone else can be extras. Hooray! But don't think you're going to get a credit. Boo! I am the very important director, and what I say goes. Ah! Oh. Hey, coming through. Excuse me. I heard you're making a video. I've come to offer my services. Uh, what can you do? Well, uh, I'm a reasonably good football player. A bit of dance every now and then. <laughs> Play the tuba. Nope. None of that's working for me, buddy. I can be pretty mean. <laughs> oh, right then. Security. Oh, uh, right. <clears throat> It's time to make my very important director speech. Oh, yeah, uh, yes, of course. Listen to me, you lot. Tomorrow we're making a movie. Yay! Yay! Correction, I'm making a movie. You lot are just helping me. Oh. Yay! Yay! And if I say pink, Purple and purple is pink, then you don't blink. If I say down is up and up is down, you don't even frown. Oh, <laughs> I'm a poet and I don't even know it. <laughs> and if I tell you to laugh, you laugh! <laughs> right, I think that covers everything. Um, Margaret, I haven't got a job. You? You. You're the first AD. Yes! First AD! <laughs> that's assistant director, isn't it? Well, that's good, isn't it? Oh, yes. It's good, Henry. It means you belong to me forever. break down the doors and blow open the windows on this old school and we are gonna sell 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 oh dear i hope we haven't done something we're going to regret later boudica quite likely cynthia hmm perhaps you'd better keep an eye on this boudica with pleasure cynthia with pleasure it's so easy being me I'm Peter, what are you doing up at this time of night? I can't sleep. Can I watch TV with you? Oh, it's way past your bedtime, sweetie love. And you've got school tomorrow. But I'm scared. Will you read me a story? All right, sleepyhead. Let's climb the wooden stairs to Bedfordshire. And so Little Red Riding Hood set off through the forest. But she hadn't gone far when she met the big bad wolf. I've changed my mind, Dad. I don't want a bedtime story, thank you very much. Oh, all right then. Ready to go to sleep now, Poppet? Yes, I, I mean, no. I, I mean, I don't know. Dad, are there such things as weird werewolves? Weird werewolves? Of course not, Peter. Though I did see a really scary film once. Beware the moon. Good night, Dad! Henry? What is it, oh hairy one? Don't call me that. All right, then. 
What do you want? Oh, one with just a bit more hair than usual. Will you come and stay awake all night with me? I'm scared on my own. But I was asleep. Please, Henry. Oh, all right then. But we're going to need lots of supplies if we're going to stay awake all night. What sort of supplies, Henry? The tickly treat sort. Mum's got loads hidden in the back of the cupboard in the kitchen. You just have to go and get them. Me? But what if I get caught? Do you want me to stay awake with you or not? Yes. Then off you go. I'll make sure you get them all. <sighs> what do we do now, Henry? I'm going back to bed. But it's still night time, Henry. You promised you'd stay awake with me. Is the moon still full, Peter? Yes, it is. Well, it won't be for much longer. Look, it's nearly morning. You'll be fine. All right, then. See you in the morning, Henry. Henry? Henry, is that you? Oh, Peter, I forgot to ask you something. But... Henry, you Can I borrow your curse of the mummy kit? Take it! Thanks, Peter. Wait a moment. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
this park. Uh-oh. We'd better take our plane somewhere else. <laughs> Come on, Steve. Let's go. <laughs> You, Henry? Yah? No way! You scared? Yah? You're on. Start here, yah? Through the woods. The fountain. Across the buttercup meadow. Finish with a fly through this tree trunk, yah? Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? Oh, yah! I knew you'd check it out. No, I'm just worried about your plane. Mine will be fine. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> oh, watch where you're flying, that thing! <laughs> to get Mummy Dearest to buy me a new one. What are you going to do, Henry? What am I going to do? Oh, this is bad. The axle is fractured and the wings are out of alignment and the propeller's rotation is off by 7.5 degrees. But can you mend it? I'll do my best. Uh, screwdriver. Spanner. So, or will it fly again? There's only one way to find out. Oh, way to go! <laughs> well, that didn't work, did it? I guess not. Only one thing for it, Henry. I guess so. Bots. This time it's personal. You bet it is, Turtle Toad. Oh, I've got to come up with something, Fang. Something to get Ralph's confidence back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Henry. So I'm walking down the street, no guesses who I meet. My old mate Ralph and I'm with my mum and dad. And he does no more, he starts to snore. Cos that's how he is, he's rude. He's rude! Oh, I'm rude! I'm really, really rude! Rude Ralph! Ruder than a bee that's buzzing! Rude Ralph! Ruder than your auntie's cousin! Rude Ralph! Ruder than a mountain goat! Rude Ralph! Ruder than a Henry! And our next mega cool air guitarist is Triple G. This is it. I can't look. Um, oh, hello, everyone. That sounds like... Goody, goody, 
Gordon? Goody, goody, Gordon, Triple G! I... I can't do this. So I'm walking down the street, now guess is who I meet, my old mate Henry, who's with his mum and dad, so I do no more, I start to...